Nowadays, uh, epigenetics uh, is contributing to uh, major discoveries uh, and major advances in the concept of uh, what is actually the, uh, the way uh, our DNA interacts with the environment. So there's a, a huge body of uh, science and research done uh, in the field of epigenetics, chromatin remodeling, um, uh, known coding RNAs that is uh, absolutely staggering. Our program has the ambition to uh, answer some key fundamental questions in the field, and namely what, is the, what are the mechanisms, the molecules involved in the way, in particular, uh, uh, human organisms adapt to extreme environments. After discussing with uh, the colleagues uh, at UCI about these uh, uh, concepts, uh, we, d we found out basically that uh, we were sharing very fundamental uh, interest and in the strategic questions. So it came quite straight to think about of uh, putting together our technologies, expertise uh, and uh, different backgrounds and set up uh, an ambitious challenging but quite very exciting research program. The collaboration with Kaos started in a very natural way, very immediate, and it's a strong research driven. We have uh, uh, complementary expertises, at the same time, common interests. So by uniting the forces together, uh, it, it, we believe we're going to be way more performant if we were just isolated. The center offers the fact that, for example, we have collaboration with many other institutions in the world. And so it's a place that where many people can converge and share results and uh, techniques, you know, like, and uh, approaches. So the more a competence you have and the more collaboration you do with the right places where there is the knowledge, the better your research will be. We have a common uh, theme, epigenetics, but that we approach from different uh, angles and from with different biological questions. In terms of location, uh, of course, two locations are very different uh, in terms of, uh, of culture, of, of resources, but also, uh, I think, quite complementary. I think for the students, it's extremely enriching uh, students that are part of this program to be embedded in, in, in two different environments. Uh, and so that's uh, also a plus, I think, that is brought to the collaboration. I'm learning a lot within the first month that I came here uh, and I'm still learning and I'm sure that I will learn a lot within the next couple of months during my period here at UCI. Well, the atmosphere in Couch is very special. I feel that I am learning every day, especially because I interact with so many people from around the world with different experiences. Traveling over there or they coming here uh, and uh, sharing um, labs and uh, resources, I think is very important for, for the future of investigation. Uh, CAUS is an incredible catalyst for my career, both present and future. And we've got the equipment, we've got the ex expertise. We're encouraged to explore new avenues, new ideas. So basically, if you can think it, if you can dream it, you can do it here in Kaos. And we found uh, by doing metabolomic uh, analysis of the prefrontal cortex of the mice that have the ablation of D2 receptor, we found that the metabolism of this mice is uh, differentially uh, regulated as compared to uh, wild type mice. And uh, these changes in metabolism um, uh, could be due, due to, uh, to defect in astrocytes. So we are now uh, studying uh, the effect of uh, astrocytes in uh, this deregulation. Our institution has invested from the beginning in the cutting edge technologies. Our technological park is unique in several disciplines, covering genomics, proteomics, and metabolomics also. The Central Epigenetics and Metabolism has built a unique infrastructure where we are able to combine together the, the knowledge coming from high throughput technologies such as genomics and all this integrated into a biocomputing interface that allows all that data to be interpreted in a logical manner. All this uh, uh, know-how is distributed worldwide, but we have a privileged communication and connect connection with CAUS. We are organizing together a yearly workshop that um, gathers uh, experts in the field. This is a focused workshop, about uh, 20 to 30 speakers, 
which is supposed to uh, ad uh, address cutting-edge issues in the field of uh, epigenetics and it will take place uh, a year uh, in Kaust and the next year at Irvine. Whenever you start a collaboration, you are always looking for new competences or approaches that can help your research to get even better. That's the whole idea behind this type of interaction. Science has no barriers. We are here to educate people to fundamental knowledge, take responsibility of their future. And if these values can be shared with the, any other community out there, I think this will benefit the world enormously.